Hi everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at three different ways to combine strings and particularly uh, to combine strings in order to output them using a console.writeline statement. So the first way we're going to look at uh, is composite formatting. So composite formatting takes a composite string followed by an ordered list of arguments. Um, so let me, let me do this, let me create two string variables first. I'll create one called name and another called greeting and let me actually put this before the comment here okay so in composite formatting I'm going to do this formatting directly inside of the console.writeLine statement this is part of the console.writeLine syntax itself uh, so I'm going to first uh, output I guess we'll do the classic hello world, except we're, we'll say hello, comma, and then the name of the user, uh, followed by an exclamation mark. So what we're going to have is we're going to have an uh, ordered list of arguments. Following our composite string. So in this case, if we want to say hello, comma, space, Steve, exclamation mark, we would say greeting followed by name. So here's our composite string. This is basically the full string that we want to output with um, index, indexed parameters in this format, open curly brace, a number, and closed curly brace. And these refer to a comma separate list that follow the composite string. So here we have argument zero, which will be inserted anytime we see curly brace zero. And then we have argument one, which will be inserted anytime we see curly brace one. So as an example, let me show you the output first. So here you can see the value of name is Steve, the value of greeting is hello. So here we have this, their composite string and for argument zero, we have greeting, which is hello, followed by the string literal value, comma, space, and then we're taking the value of argument one, which is name, which has been assigned the value Steve, and putting that back into the string, and then it's followed by an exclamation mark. Remember, a string literal, literal is denoted by a double quote to begin and a double quote to end. So this composite string really is just a string literal with these little uh, uh, argument parameters inside of the string that refer to this ordered list. And we can have as many as we want here. We can have zero, argument 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Okay, just as, as an example, let's do another version of this. But this time, let's say we put 0 and 0 in there. Uh, and then if we run it you'll see that we've used argument zero twice, which is greeting. So we're gonna have hello, comma, hello, exclamation mark. So play around with that a little bit, try out more than two arguments and, and see what you can do with it there. Uh, we, this, there's a lot more than this. We can actually put uh, formatting into this uh, argument. Uh, so colons, uh, say at a time and you wanted to extract the hour, you could do that. Uh, if you wanted to, um, any, any kind of formatting basically, read, read about it, there's a lot to it. Um, we could also, this could actually be a string literal value. So if we wanted to say, um, hello Marcus instead of hello Steve, we could actually just have a string literal value instead of a variable. So. Um, there you go. <laughs> now it says hello, Marcus. Okay, so there's a lot we can do with the composite formatting. Uh, let me show you a second way now, which is string interpolation. And I think string interpolation is kind of the most current way of doing it. Um, in most languages, string interpolation is a default. 
In C sharp, we need to indicate that we're using string interpolation. So I'm going to say console.writeLine. And normally we would have two double quotes in closing our string. To instruct C sharp that we're using a string, string interpolation, we're going to use a dollar sign right before the open uh, double quote. And then, just like we had these uh, ordered arguments, argument parameters inside of our uh, composite formatting, with string interpolation, we're going to have uh, arguments which are named arguments. So in this case, we'll say greeting and name. And what's going to happen is uh, C sharp realizes that it's string interpolation because of that dollar sign, and now it's looking for an actual variable or a value from what's inside of these uh, curly braces. You can actually put an equation in there and output some formula. Okay, the third way is uh, kind of a classic way to combine strings and that's string concatenation. So st string concatenation just uses the concatenation operator. So we're going to say greeting. Notice that it's not enclosed inside of, it's not enclosed inside of double quotes. So in this case it's referring to the variable name. Uh, then we'll actually have a string literal value for that comma space and name and again another uh, string literal for that exclamation mark and a semicolon at the end. So what's happening is uh, you know we learned from primary school that a plus sign is arithmetic addition so it's going to take an operand and it's going to add the value to another operand. Well in programming we can use operands a little more dynamically where it's going to detect the data type of the operands. And in C sharp specifically, if one or more of the operands, one or both of the operands is a string value, this operator becomes string concatenation. Basically in string concatenation, we take the value of greeting and we squish it together with the second operand here, the comma space, and it becomes a one single string. So another way to do this is we could say string uh, custom greeting equals this value and then just output custom greeting. So a few different ways to do it there. Composite formatting, um, if you're looking at a little bit of older documentation or C, C or C++ style documentation, you might see some composite formatting. String interpolation, I think, really the modern way to do it. A lot of languages are using it. If you, if you write, start writing code in Swift or Kotlin, uh, you're going to use string interpolation. String concatenation is an old standby, but it's still very current. If you want to combine two strings, it's kind of the go-to, uh, especially if you want to create another variable out of it. So pretty straightforward way to do that. All right, thanks.